nothing in the election law that requires a concession speech. The election law is all about certification and the casting of the electoral college votes. Uh, but um, according to historical form, it's been customary for the person who's behind uh, to make a concession speech. And once the decision is made, we unite behind the man who is elected. There are no losers, because whether or not our candidates are successful, the next morning we all wake up as Americans. And America must always come first, so we will get behind this new president and wish him, wish him well. Primarily to facilitate the transition process if, the, if there's an incumbent who is lost, to facilitate the, the transition process to the next administration. And that currently is being held up by deliberate actions that the Trump administration has taken, as well as by the court uh, cases or the suits that they filed. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. At the top of every agency, there are a set of administrators. Uh, they could be cabinet secretaries, assistant secretaries, agency heads, and so on, who are political appointees. Those people uh, in a new administration uh, have to be uh, vetted, which includes not only uh, the Biden team, but for many of these jobs, they'll have to undergo uh, an FBI background check. And this is the part that is being held up. You want a peaceful transfer of power and you want the new team to succeed. We don't have any of that right now. There is a law that provides for transition. Uh, uh, it provides money, it provides office space in federal agencies, uh, and it provides for conversations, sometimes in secure facilities, between the potential nominees and the people who are actually holding those positions. Uh, the Biden administration, through its transition team, is going to be able to think about who might take these positions. But the reluctance of the Trump administration to move ahead with the transition means that they're not going to be able to have these conversations and that the FBI is not permitted to do the background checks. We're never going to accept Joe Biden as the president of the United States. So there's going to be a, a delay in the uh, effectuation of the transition to get the process started of having these conversations, developing plans for what needs to be done and so on. I challenge Joe and every Democrat to clarify that they only want legal votes because they talk about votes and I think they should use the word legal, legal votes. The sports analogy is a very good one because anybody who plays on a team uh, that has any kind of uh, extended schedule, understands they're going to win some and lose some. Uh, across the time that they played that sport, they learn uh, about winning and losing. And the problem with Donald Trump is he doesn't have experiences like that uh, in his life because as we think we understand now from you know various books uh, written about him, his father taught him that the worst thing in the world was to be a loser. So coming to grips with losing the election is especially difficult for him. His uh, behavior in the past, which he is exhibiting in this case as well, is if things don't go his way, I'm going to go to court. Some of the president's supporters want him to fight on. He's filed, I believe, lawsuits in 12 different states uh, trying to uh, affect or change the counting of the votes or, or, or the outcome in some other way. When your time is up, uh, then it is your job to put the country first and think beyond your own ego and your own interests and your own disappointments. Um, my advice to President Trump uh, is if you want at this late stage in the game to be remembered as somebody who put com country first, uh, it's time for you to do the same thing.
There is a custom uh, about concession, but it doesn't mean anything to him.